So this is a plat lobby. Plat. Mouse and keyboard players on blue versus controller players on red. Let's see what their draft was. I don't know why it, it bugged out like that and wouldn't let me get into their picks and bands, but here we are. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Interesting. I'm, I'm seeing the, the ADC pick, the support pick. Oh, they haven't loaded on. Well, controller players always load so slow, dude. And they're following the theme. Numbers in the name. Number, number, number. No numbers. Oh yeah, we can have a number in my name. Not at the end. Numbers at the end are a controller thing. I don't know why. Like I said, blue team is on the mouse and keyboard. Red team is on the controller. People are playing their mains. So these are, you know, the main ADC and main support for both sides. So this is nobody playing all for rolls and shit. In the gold bracket, mouse and keyboard just slapped up the controller player. So this is basically plat controller players fighting to regain some sort of respect and maybe prove that they're not poopoo. I will say the controller players just bought a lot faster than the mouse and keyboard players, which is weird. That, that, that's already a little sketchy. I don't know what's going on here. Thank you for the five gifted make it rain. Let's go dude. So we got cryptic on the CERN ADC versus lamp on the Izanami ADC. That's going to be an interesting matchup to watch back and forth, especially since it's paired that Izanami is playing with a Kabrakan support, which I haven't seen in a long time. Remember, these are the mouse and keyboard players on the blue. Another Ganesh player. I don't know if that's like a big controller thing, but there's Ganesh player support on the controller team. An Agni mid on the controller team. A Hebo jungle on the controller team. And an Odin solo. Oh, they must have banned his, uh, his Yorm. So Set is a Yorm main. Thousands and thousands of hours on Yorm. They had to have banned it. Which I'm not surprised by, but interesting. Prediction is closed. Do I want to look? Uh, why can't I see the predictions? I literally cannot see the predictions. You can just tell me the, the percentages. It won't let me pull it up. Looks like we got the same starts on both teams. They're doing the SPL start that we've been seeing a bunch of. The more, it's not the, you know. We've seen this in regular games too. This isn't that crazy. It's pretty straightforward. The Osiris, you won clear pretty solid with those AOE autos versus the Odin Agni clear also pretty solid because of the dash. Looks like they struggled to clear right there. You guys are gifting so many. I fucking love you guys. Rain, thank you for the five and scripted chaos. Scripted chaos, I would never. Thank you for the 10 gifted, dude. Blue team out clearing with the Izanami. Their clear is going to be very, very strong in this early stage until the Ganesh gets his silence. Once Ganesh gets his silence, should be okay. He's looking for the stun there. He gets it. A lot of damage coming out on the Cryptic. Blue team full control there. Blue team losing control in the mid lane, though, with this Hebo Agni. It's a lot of damage. Hard to deal with. Xenomorph, thank you for the gifted. And on the other side, Odin being bullied out by the Osiris. That's going to be a hard match for Odin to win. Osiris can just walk through the walls. Ooh, the miss too from the Osiris. Good job. From, ooh, fighting mid on this tower line. There goes the the Agni dies. Good engage from the Nemesis. This Hebo might fall too. Good Rue combo from Randoms. That's a double. Double the mid lane dies. Controller players down, boys. Hebo behind right off the rip. Nemesis with the kill. Yuang with the kill. Yuang with the first blood too. That's a scary god to let it ahead because he's safe. All right, I will point this out. Last game, the controller players got the first blood and then they got pooped on. So we'll see if the theme continues. Good peel from Ganesh. He should get stunned out and take a little bit of damage here. Just a lot of ba very basic. Oh, baby. Oh, no. Odin's going to fall. Miss Jen with the kill. Osiris for Zoda matchup. Hebo's here. I don't know if Hebo can, can kill him fast enough. He should have opened with the one. If he opens with the one, he definitely should kill anyway. Oh. There it is. Good pickup kill. Epic failure on the board now after dying in mid. One and one there. Kills that Osiris. Not much of a lead gain for Osiris after all that. Blue is mouse and keyboard. Red is controller. Can I show the bands? Absolutely. There you go. We didn't get to see these. I forgot. That's my bad. Vamana band, Thanatos band, Thor band, Herc band. These are weird bands from the plot mouse and keyboard players. And on the other side, kind of standard bans from the controller players. Oh, there was no Yorm ban. He played them like a fiddle, dude. He was talking all that smack saying, who wants to get beat by Yorm? And then he didn't even play Yorm. 
Hemo bullying out the nemesis. The blink comes out. He's being aggro. Can he hit the three? He hits it. The one, another kill for Hemo. Hemo aggressing on top of a nemesis is actually crazy. That that nemesis should not be getting bullied this early. Yeah, this is uh, this is good. The controller Hebo is having a game. He started off strong now after giving up that early death. You're right, Osiris went bees instead of teleports. That's strange. Very strange. Purple buff being invaded out of this duo lane. Not surprising at all. It's more surprising that they aren't trying to rotate here from the mid lane to help out. I don't even know. I don't know who and if anyone's using comms either, by the way. Uh, I have faith in controller players. I mean, you guys let me down last game. I really thought they were going to have a better game, but we'll see what happens here. Ahibo's popping off. Blue team only up 600 gold with the fridge. is basically first blood gold. Cryptic not really able to do much in this match so far. Getting bullied a fair amount. Nem farming up this side of the map. Hebo a little bit ahead, hitting five early. Yu Wong, the highest level in the game right now. Hebo top damage. Osiris second top damage. Not surprising. Cryptic actually has a good amount of damage. I did not expect to see him up there. Nem is hunting here, which is really scary. It is an Odin with his ult up, so he has good peel, but he's low mana. So if he burns too much mana here and he can't ult, it's bad. He ulted early before the leap. Nem is on top of him. He doesn't have a shield up, though. I don't know if he's going to live. Good combos coming out. They're under the tower. They get the kill. And then Nem lives with 10 HP. He's walking away. That was close. And now counter rotation. Hebo here in the middle. Good combo. The bomb doesn't land. The ult comes out, though. Three and one on the Hebo. He dies early. And now he's got three kills in a row. This Hebo is going to be a problem. I just hope we don't see any crazy mistakes from him. Mouse and keyboard up. Oh, you know what I can do? Should have done this last time. My bad. Oh, there's a fight here. Hebo's here. Sorry, I was changing the names. Hebo's going in deep. Wait, the health bars are gone. Where are the health bars? Where are the health bars? Why do we lose health bars? There's a key button for it. I don't know if I hit it or if it's bugged. There we go. I got it. We're good. Good save. That's crazy. I typed controller in and it counted as a key binding. I just started going through all the letters in controller. <laughs> we're good. We're good. We're good. We got it fixed. We have the names up. Hebo falls, throws his lead, does get another kill. He's four and two now. That was a very strange engagement for him to force. I wasn't a big fan of it because his ult wasn't up. If he had gone over there with his ult up, it would have probably been a different story. But he is still being aggressive. He's got a two level lead. So I can't hate on him. He's got he's to do his thing at this point. He's got to keep up the aggression. Dude, Crypt Scripted Chaos with another 10 gifted 20 tonight already? Too many, dude. You guys have been gifting me way too much. Thank you. Pushing back to 4k. I think we're I said I'd give away a graphics card at 4k. So hopefully we hit it. I'm down to give you guys all the shit. Red team still down a thousand gold. Right now, it, it seems like red is comfortable. Even in the dual lane, they're fighting over here. We got Kabrakan rotating left. Cryptic's winning the trades. Oh, good dash out. The combo's coming out. Are they going to land this? I don't know if he's in range to land the Kabrakan ult. He tries too late. He doesn't hit it. Cryptic just out of range. That's a big, big, big disengage for Cryptic. Him dying there would have been uh, kind of tragic because he would have lost that whole little bit he gained back from the Hebo gank. His Nami is one on one, though. Another force out from Hebo. We got Ganesh rotating in. Nem looks like he's trying to force something, but he's going to back out of this. A lot of vision over here from Red. Controller out here, super, con super controlled. Supervision. I like that Hebo opted for the Eye of the Jungle. Usually you would still go Spear, but late game, he's going to have a good amount of defense. Oh. We're, we're, we're right on here with this Hebo. The good disengage walks over a ward. I think that's a. I don't know why that's not showing on the minimap. None of the wards are showing on the minimap. 
Weird. It is what it is. I just have to pay attention. Hebo contesting the Nem. What is happening? Nem ult comes out. Hebo whiffs the ult. Nem ult comes out. He disengages. Hebo ults the wrong direction. He's now stuck on the enemy side of the map with no ult. You do not want your Hebo to die here. Oh, the jukes. Oh, but he jukes into his team. Ganesh ult comes out. That's a big one. Misses the dash. Turn ult comes out. He gets the kill because of Ganesh's two. Or one, two, one, 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 one. Nem with the double dash. He's trying to disengage. Kabrakin getting a ton of CC. The U1 just whiffs his ult. Nem gets a kill to the Hebo. That's big for him. Agni's finally shown up. Misses a bomb. There, hits the second one. Not on anyone that matters. Missing a lot of abilities. Ray Ray kind of struggling here. Good poke from him overall, but no kill secure, no direct damage. Mid lane just pushing out here. I can't see the. What's on the mini? Why can't I see what's on the mini map? I can't see creeps. Someone know the keybind for that? Is it L? Uh, is it C? Is it T? R? Uh, K? M? M. Got it. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Director. You, you literally thought of it right as me. I'm like, what letter haven't I pressed out of mouse and keyboard and controller yet? Figured it out. Everything's fixed. We're good. Now we can see wards again. So yeah, Blue had good vision here. Really good vision here on both sides. Cryptic contesting this Nami. A lot of fighting's been going on in this game. It's it's kind of a good game, man. 700 gold lead for blue. Nothing crazy. One kill lead as well. Six to five at the nine minute mark. Hebo's been everywhere here. Same level as the Nem now. Oh, this Nem's caught out. There's the Hebo ult. Oh, baby. It's going to be close. Osiris misses the ult. He gets the kill on the Nem because of the miss. Osiris on. He's getting a turn over. Osiris misses the one. Three's out. Kabrakin rotating in. The Odin's here with the ult, though. So there should be potential peel. Osiris walks right through it. They're running away from their support in their mid. Good, good peel from Odin. Great peel from Odin. Oh, my gosh. Hebo's in a good spot. Hebo's going to have a good team supporting him, to be honest. Range CC from Agni. The Ganesha being in there. The Surin CC coming out. The Odin CC coming out. He's got a great comp. And this Nem is being bullied right now. Very much being bullied. Chaos again? Five gifted? Thank you, dude. Yeah, we're good on, on, on everything. It's kind of dumb that if I type in the new spectator names, it counts as keybinds. Even though I'm in the... The settings. Oh, the combos. The dash comes out. He's burning. Nem's going to go right on this Agni, though. The Agni overcommitted directly into the Nemesis. Combos coming out. Kabrakin's here. No way he lives. Kabrakin gets the last hit. And Yuwon just disengages. That's a risky dive from Agni, and he paid for it. He paid instantly. Didn't get to do anything. Hebo's hunting. Hebo sees him. I don't think this is a kill, though, because Nem definitely has dashes. Two levels down. Hebo running through your jungle right now. That is sad. You never want to be in a situation where the Hebo is able to aggress through your jungle and feel safe. Five and three on the Hebo, three and two on the Nemesis. And then just a couple kills across the board for the rest of blue. Only one kill on the CERN for red. Close game. 800 gold lead for blue still. No objective pulls yet. Oh. Absolutely crazy. Safe clear coming out. Red's probably just gonna try to wait up for their uh their map control to come back. Is Hebo just doing whatever he wants? Nem is here. Hebo gets another kill. Is Nem in trouble? Nem stunned. Hebo comes out. If he blinks, Nem, Nem doesn't have a blink. He's gonna die. Oh baby, dude. This solo jungle combo and a solo kill for the controller ADC! What is happening? Mouse and keyboard falling apart. Absolutely in just shambles right now. What is happening? The solo kill, cryptic 1v1s. The Izanami, the Izanami now has three deaths. The Hebo gains another. Did he gain two kills there? Oh, no, Odin got a kill. So Hebo got a kill, and Odin both got a kill in that fight in the solo lane. This Hebo is gigantic. He's level 13. He's got a very good build, too, to just keep pumping. And in team fights, if he's able to get a kill, he's going to snowball through that team fight. This is crazy. Ka 
Kabrakin roaming. I don't know if he's going to be able to do very much. He's got a lot of XP. This Kabrakin uh, does have a kill, but he's he's really up there on the XP. I guess Kanesh is up there too. That's crazy. They're farming like madmen. Shifty, thank you for the 34 months. This is an army who's just trying to challenge Cryptic. I don't know if this is an ego, mouse and keyboard versus controller thing or what. Oh, Nem's here. Is he doesn't even go for the camp, goes for the purple buff. She's tilted. This Nem is in trouble. Oh, Kabraken here, the three man gank on a Cryptic. Oh, he, he holds late. Kabraken holds his ult for no reason. And Cryptic gets out again from another gank. And here comes another 1v1. Cryptic starts at half HP. Hebo's here. They know. They know Cryptic getting poked out even more. The Ganesh is rotated now as well. Nem is back to base, though. Cryptic healing a lot off of those creeps. If I had a flavor of gamer subs, what would I call it? Uh, I had an idea for five head smash. I don't know what flavor I do now, though, because they have strawberry limited. And that's what I, uh, that's what I wanted to do forever when I was still with G Fuel a couple of years ago. <sighs> I wanted to, I don't know what flavor I do now. Something fruity. Definitely something fruity, dude. Blueberry lemonade. I think probably have that, to be honest. If they don't, I'd be down. Agni just throwing abilities. I think he's trying to play very safe because he's 0-2 right now, so he doesn't want to commit that little bit more. He needs to hit his abilities easily. What up, Bangle? Thank you for the 18 months. Another invade from Hebo. This is really some, like blowing my mind that a controller player on Hebo is this dominant in a match like yeah it's hebo hebo op but he's not just being op he's running in the jungle and 1v1ing and counter gang oh blue team with a really good gold fury red's gonna match up with his pyromancer but it's not quite the same gold down 200 blues down 200 gold now down two kills 200 gold ray ray being contested he dashes back into his team Kabrak, it all comes out but it's kind of wasted it was a smart ult to cut him off but it didn't work out Odin coming in. Nem on the, the Hebo in the back. They're diving the Hebo. The Agni of the Hebo being chased. The Osiris is still alive. Nem gets the kill. I think Osiris might live. Why is Nem not helping? That's a big kill. Nem ult? Okay, another missed ability from Agni. I like the Nem ult idea, but he disengaged instantly. Oh, late shield. Very late shield. Osiris is out. Nem is out. No more kills. Hebo finally gets taken out after going on that little bit of a spree. And I'm pretty sure Nem got the kill. He's four and three now. Check this player damage. 9,800 from Odin. 9,300 from Hebo, who died pretty quick in that fight. Osiris is up there. Cern is up there. Nem is yeah, there. This is a pretty solid game. Uh, this is mind-blowing, though. Asic is very low on that damage meter. Vifar, thank you for the gifted. Bangle, thank you for the 18 months. Welcome back, guys. Red is controller. Blue is mouse and keyboard. It's in the names at the top. I added it in. Ray Ray disengaging. That was randoms is lagging his butt off. Goodness gracious. No, nah, it's fair. M most of the time, I don't. I wouldn't take the opportunity to even put the names at the top, but it just makes sense to do it for this mouse and keyboard stuff. Make sure everyone's on the same page. Close game still, 8-9. to nine. That big just slammer of a fight where nearly every ult hits somebody and only one person died. Game is dead even. Look at this. Look at this. 33 gold and XP. Red's got XP lead. Red does have an XP lead. It's because jungle's up two levels. The Hebo is still up. Uh, yeah, he's still up two full levels. Being level 17 right now is big. It's a lot of XP. Does have six kills though. And has been invading like a crazy man. One big team fight. There's a lot of potential for team fights here. Blue could easily insta kill somebody, while red could insta kill somebody, but also has a good drawn out fight between all the Agni bombs, the Odin all just can kind of do a lot. Osiris all misses again. Hebo instantly disengages from that using his blink. Doesn't want to fight this. There's Kabrak and he's in. Osiris is also in. A lot of damage coming out from Agni though. The Hebo all comes out. There's a kill. Odin onto the Osiris. 
You Wong Ho misses the Hebo somehow. Ray Ray gets a kill onto the cab. What is happening? Oh my gosh, the Yu Wong just contested the Hebo. Hebo's gonna get a free kill here. Miss the two. If that two lands, he does kill, so I respect that challenge. Nem dashing into the back, trying to dive the Osiris or the Odin. The two misses. Oh, the huge shield from Laxus. No Agni kill today, even though that fire kind of was. That was scary. That was risky, boy. So Hebo ends up getting a kill. Odin got a kill. Was that it? Oh, and uh, who, who killed Kabrakin? Agni? Yeah, Odin, Agni, and, and Hebo all got kills there. Meanwhile, the duo lane is just duo laning it up. Guns, thank you for the sub. Oh, baby, the TP in from Osiris. Okay, another missed Osiris ult. That's the fourth one. Cryptic's just going to be fine here. That was a strange decision. The Osiris is now down two levels with a very snowball-y build. So the Osiris is not going to be tanky. No magic defense, really. Like, what's he sitting on? Yeah, he got a death toll. You're sitting on 40 magic prods. He's going to get blown up by this Hebo. If the Hebo pays attention to builds, he definitely knows who he can kill. Oracle's controlled. Osiris very far up here. Misses the ability, so they don't even know how much they did to him. Instantly testing the goal here to see if anyone shows up. The whole team's rotating. And then red falls off. Don't even want it. Agni's backing. Nem rotating from the solo side of the map. Yeah, the Osiris missed a lot of XP by not going to right and then not doing anything. The fight in left. He tried to force a fight in left that never should have happened. Oh, baby. Another one. Another attempt. Okay, he's definitely going to get stunned or have the beads. Kraken ult lands this time. It doesn't do too much. Sword with the triple ult. Huge. Odin ult comes out. It's not enough to save him. The shell. You've got Izanami just trying to disengage. She's going to get out. That was a big play from CERN. But Blue's safe as of now. This Yu Wong might get chased. He's going to get stunned. Never mind. They're turning onto the Osiris in the back. Hebo being pressured out. Nem decides to disengage. Osiris gets blown up by the Hebo. That no magic defense. 40 isn't enough. Odin just pressuring. This Odin is full health. Gold being called, it seems. Nem is disengaged. They're all very low over here to the duo lane. I don't see them fighting this. They might want to, but this is not going to end well for them. There's no way. Hebo still has ult. Agni still has bombs. Even the Ganesha has ult. They're waiting for somebody to come in here. Yeah, they want to fight. Do they see the Izanami? Kabrakin's going. Kabrakin's in. Odin's being contested. Instant death for Kabrakin. He double ults. He hits the Izanami too. This Hebo is massive. They're going to hear him come out of stealth. There it is. Izanami's dead. Almost picks up the kill in the Agni, but not enough. You won't being chased out by the Odin. This Odin's been 2v1ing this whole time. That should just be a free gold. There's no, no way Blue is going to be able to contest that gold fury. The controller players are looking clean. They're fighting so well. Oh, Osiris is here. Mouse and keyboard gets the gold. The Osiris steals the gold fury. Gold is still dead even. Worth. You're already behind. You've already given up so much. He's not even that far behind. He's one level behind the Odin. The Odin hasn't been farming for shit either. Miss Jen keeping them in the match. Five deaths though. Not looking good. Not looking good at all. But that's a massive gold to steal. The waves are all going to get pressured out now because of that gold fury. So much fighting. Nem almost level 20. The Hebo is level 20. Cern's almost level 20. Agni's pushing for level 19. Hits it. Let's see. Pyromancer's up. Fire Giant's up. Waves are pushing. The Osiris build was built to have pressure early. But she never had pressure early, so I don't know why she committed to the build still. Then maybe wants to pull Pyro? He's on a ward. Hebo's here. Hebo's baiting. Oh, he's not baiting. Hebo's actually backing in front of them. Wow. I thought he was playing him. He's got his spear finished. Oh, we have the crit Nem. The late game Nem might be crazy. If he can get on the Hebo with the Hebo's three down, that Hebo instantly dies. Right away. That's going to be wild to watch. Solo lane tower does fall, though. Red team gets a little bit more gold. They're now up 2,600 gold. 
Wasn't it just dead even? What the hell happened? That's crazy. Fight breaking out. Odin peeling in the back. Hits three with it. The Agni just dashes away from the Osiris and the Kabraken. Kabraken slowly dying. Nem taking a ton of damage here. Hebo misses the ult. Hebo whiffs. Yuwao comes out. He misses too. Kabraken's gonna fall in the back. Yuwao's gonna fall. Izanami, I don't even know where the Izanami was. Izanami's now being chased. Hebo in the mid. <laughs> Nem gets a kill into the Agni though. Then Nem instantly dies. This should be a big fire call. There's no reason to do the pyro. Unless they just want to heal. I mean, this is free. This 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 is a big fire call for sure. Wild fight. Is Anami not really a member of the grouping? Like she was around the area, but didn't actually group and fight. This fire is falling fast. Is Anami will make it in time. She looks like she's stealth already. Yep, she had already three in. She's got the she's got it. She's all late. He steals the fire! Two stolen objectives from mouse and keyboard! Controller players just can't secure. His dash is gonna be up. He might make it out of this. He's gone. He's gone. Oh my goodness. It's only fire on, I believe him and Osiris, right? Yeah, Osiris has the fire. Is Anami has the fire. Wait, Miss Jen stole that one? Is Anami stole that one? Right? That Osiris wasn't there. Am I trolling? How did Miss Jen steal that? Is he old? Oh, Miss Jens 2 got it? What? Okay, that's crazy that they both timed that. That's wild. That's wild. Goodness gracious. Is he old and the Osiris 2 at the same time to secure? Mouse and keyboard just coming in clutch with these steals. But the thing is, their team fights have all been horrendous. So will this even make a difference? If I'm mouse and keyboard, if I'm controller right now, I'm still fighting. I don't care that they have fire. Our fights, are, you know, their fights are just so good. Play that back. I'm afraid it's going to break, but I'll try. We'll risk it to get the best kid, okay? I didn't even realize Miss Jen was there. I was so focused on this as an army. Their abilities hit almost the same exact time, right? I think Miss Jen did steal that though. That's wild. That is wild. They didn't even know Miss Jen was back there. That's what's even crazier to me. Goodness gracious, good steal. Mousing you were not, or controller not having somebody run around to look is uh, really the misplay there. All right, we got Kabraka being chased out and poked a little bit. I don't think he's going to die. He is pretty tanky for only having two items. Wait, he doesn't have his benevolence upgraded and he doesn't have his fourth item either. He's really far behind on items. How many, what are we talking about on wards here? Miss Jen with 11 wards, Kabraken with 11 wards, Ganesh only has 5 wards. Wow. What in the world? What a Voltees. They have the 29 months. Good night, man. Look at red team's damage. Look at blue team's damage. And somehow the Ganesh has more damage than the Kabraken. Insane. Hebo with the highest net worth currently in the game, followed up by both ADCs, then the other jungler, then both mids. Osiris alts out there trying to live. He's gone. Kraken did upgrade both relics. That's true. He had to. He had to get the Phantom Shell. So that was smart. I don't know about upgrading the belt as well. A little risky. Blue team pulling the gold. I don't know why the controller players are giving up any objective right now oh my gosh ray ray gets caught out by nem the nem dashes in though oh sorry Ooh, odin with the peel good peel from ganesha odin with the safety net appeal i'm gonna i'm sure he wishes he had his ult right now tb and from osiris good knock up to stop out the combo three comes out hitting all of them right now is he gonna stun he gets a triple stun on osiris big engage isanami picks up cryptic isanami and you won't kill cryptic this is a huge fight for mouse and keyboard players Oh my gosh, there's the Ganesh ult. This is a good lockdown. Tons of damage coming out. Yu Wong comes out. It doesn't kill anybody. I think it hits one. Set is super low on that Odin. Agni Dash comes out. They're all very low, these basketball players. Hebo's hunting. Hebo's hunting. He sees him. 
Oh my gosh, the Osiris down. He doesn't know the Osiris is gonna come out of stealth right here. He's gonna die. He boys all! Oh, he hits a boat! Oh, he misses the one he gets to kill anyway! Oh my gosh, what are the odds? What what are the odds of the Oh my gosh, the, that Hebo ult just barely clips the mid laner. Oh my goodness, the triple kill the Hebo is 15 kills right now. Oh, I don't think the mouse and keyboard players realize the Hebo still at ult. I don't think they had a clue that the ult was still up. Pyro coming up soon, fire coming up soon. Controller players back in control of everything. They're already here for this pyro that's spawning. They, they have the time, right? They just double warded fire. That's awkward. They have tons of vision over here right now. They need deep vision. They have a lot of vision right on the objectives. They need to control this area here. Otherwise, pulling fire is way too risky. This Hebo is huge. He's full build. The Nem opted for Seer of the Jungle, while the Hebo opted for the Protector of the Jungle. And I think Protector kept him alive. He had it for that last fight, right? I think he did. If he didn't have it for the last fight, then obviously I'm wrong. But if he had it, that's why he lived. Fire pulled. Only two members of blue are here. They drop. Red team drops. Uh, they don't have the vision. They don't know who's here and who's not. Hebo also has no actives. So that's probably a big reason why they don't want to fight. No support actives. No Hebo actives. All of blue's actives are pretty much coming up outside of the Osiris beads, which is unnecessary. Blue re... Gaining control around the objective play. Osiris is really far up here. I don't know about this. It is not worth getting poked out like this at all. There, there's no value in this. Osiris jumps in. Nemo comes out defensively? I think he thought there was going to be a fight, but he's going in 1v3. Wait, the fight is coming out. Oh, big, big ult. Nemo gets a kill to Hebo. Huge Kabracken ult right there. Yuwang up downs. There's the shell. Red team not taking damage right now. So good silence coming out from Ganesh. Up, down. Oh, my goodness. Agni blows up the Kabraken. So they trade Hebo for Kabraken. Hebo didn't have actives up. He got stun locked into the Kabraken. Oh, Kabraken's targeting was beautiful there. You'll love to see it. Controller players are sitting on two bombs while blue mouse keyboard is sitting on no bombs. They're going to wait for Hebo, I think, to come up to do anything. If mouse keyboard is able to steal another fire... Depending on how long this little skirmish here goes on that it'll be an enhanced fire and that won't be easy to deal with What up Wraith? This is my last one. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably it's late and I don't know how much longer this game is gonna go That's the problem. Oh cryptic getting melted. He dashes out though. Isn't how he dashes in gets the kill Miss Jen takes a little bit of damage a lot of combo right there coming out from Agni. I don't know what's happening here Odin ulting Appeal, maybe re-engage. I don't, I don't think they're sure what they want to do. Nem dashes, though. He's caught here with no dash up. Miss Jen backing. She's going to TP back in. Hebo's up now, rotating back to this team fight. Cryptic getting engaged on there was great from the mouse and keyword players. CERN being dead at the start of any fight is a huge dub. There's no way they should lose a team fight if they could pick the ADC. Uh, uh. Wraith, when's the last time you played Smite? Worlds? Blue picking up gold again. I think that's their... Is that their third gold they've done? I think it is. <laughs> Look at this. Look at these graphs. Gold is dead even. XP is in favor of blue... Or sorry, of red. But it really doesn't matter at this stage because almost everyone's level 20. The XP gap is support and then a little into that solo. But the Odin should hit level 20 off of any wave. Red dropping their wards, trying to get some control. All actives are back up now for red. All actives other than beads on Osiris and blink on them are back up for blue. So this is what we're probably going to see if there's going to be a fight. Them dropping blue on the side. Nem is huge damage wise, crit wise, auto attack wise. He's going to be pumping. His Anami is kind of pumping too. Went the correct build to try to contest onto the Odin when he's front checking them with ult. Miss Jen tries to go in, poke out a little bit. Hebo takes some damage, but Miss Jen takes a lot. Is Anami with the disengage? 
Oh, Nemo comes out on the set. Odin takes his full health bar very quickly. Then it stops. No follow-up. Krabakino comes out. Odin up downs. Odin's gonna fall. He's dead to the ADC. He's smelting them. Cryptic, one HP. He's gonna fall here too. Izanami with the double. Are they gonna keep chasing? <laughs> They're peeling for Miss Jen. The rest of the team's going in. Triple kill for the Izanami. Hebo doesn't kill anybody. Hebo's gonna die. Quadra, go for the Penta. Go, no, always Penta. I've taught you guys better than this. Quadra kill for the Izanami. Mouse and keyboard player. I'm be honest. Izanami got soloed in lane and had a rough laning phase, but oh my gosh, Agni instantly dies. Never gets low. They said, but anyway, Izanami had a bad laning phase, but Izanami's team fighting has been so much better than Cryptic's. Lamp has just been fighting perfectly with these engages and with just sitting in the right position throughout these autos, while Cryptic is dying very early in these team fights. Goodness gracious. Hebo still at 33k. Agni at 26k. Izanami at 25. Yuwang at 25. They're up there. That's an enhanced fire, too. This is nuts. Controller players had the chance, had many chances so far this game. These towers are just melting with the enhanced fire. Are they going to farm out? and get their items or are they gonna push? Because Izzy's full build. Yu Wong is full build. Nem is full build. They're probably sitting on red pots. I don't think they're sitting on 3k pots yet. Let's see. Uh, Golden hand. Oh, I lied. Isn't Ami sitting on a 3k and a red pot? So good luck. Your towers are gone. Wait, she upgraded her actives? Okay, guys, we're going to have a little conversation. When you're on your final siege, you don't upgrade your actives. Because if you die, they don't matter. You're dead for a minute and a half anyway. On your final siege, if you have 3,000 gold and you're already full build, buy the 3k pot, which is going to help you end the game. Upgrading your actives at this stage... When this should be a final push, it's an enhanced fire. You you realistically are looking to end the game here, not to go another five minutes. So there's no world where you don't buy a 3k pot here. The Ganesha bought a Phantom Shell because of Kabrakin Wall, which is very, very smart. Or he should go Phantom Shell. He hasn't bought it yet. It would be really smart. Them all coming out. Not a lot. Odin being melted. This Odin's just gone. The Izanami just destroys... Okay, Cryptic almost gets one shot in the back. Jenny doesn't see. Dash coming out. Cover Tower is going to fall here for free. Eternal Rain trying to do something. Not enough. That Odin is way too squishy. And he's building damage. He's building damage. I don't think Odin realizes he can't frontline. It's got to be Ganesh. Kabrakin might fall here. He over aggresses. Ganesh with a good knockup. Hebo blink. Gets a kill to Izzy. That's a huge kill. Nem's going to fall here too. This could be a turn. This might be them running down the mid lane. In the back, I don't know what's happening. Though Cyrus in the back is just chilling. Yu Wong here is going to die. This is big. Are they, what are they going to do? Are they going to push? Are they paying attention? They're trying to kill the Osiris, which I don't really agree with. They isn't, or the Agni should have just messed around with this guy, and they should have pushed down mid. They're dead for 30 more seconds. They could have got a Phoenix for free. I, I, I still think they might get the Phoenix, but they need this wave. The Kabraken getting picked and then that Hebo blinking and insta-killing the Izanami was so big. Oh, he kills him. Late death for the Osiris. Um, What are they doing here? They, no one wants to tank the tower. They've got 10 seconds. They This has to die so fast. I think they got this. They have bombs too, right? CERN has a bomb. He's saving it. Instantly melted. Phoenix for Phoenix. What a turn of events, dude. Crazy. Mouse and keyboard went for the second Phoenix and just threw it all down the drain. Oh, baby. Look at mouse and keyboard. Nobody on this team is positive but the Izanami. And the Izanami is only positive because of the quadra kill she got in the team fight. Meanwhile, Hebo's 17 and 6. Agni's even positive at this point. Surin's positive at this point. Fire back up. Oh, another jungle fight. Here we go.
No, I don't think controller could have ended there. I really don't. None of them were above half health. All three of the people there were, were lower than half health. That's insanely risky between Cleves and Karakin being there. There's just no way. That's like a 50-50 like a at best, and you're not 50 50 in there when you just won a huge team fight and fires back up. Issues here for both teams. Fire waves are walking in. Both teams are allowing the fire waves to push in. Nem's finally defending. Nobody on this red team is going back. Do they not realize? Do they not have TP? They don't have TP up on Odin. He never upgraded it. So they're just going to let their base get railed. And it's going to like start to overcome really, really quick. That's only one wave in. When that second wave gets in, they're going to feel it. The pressure is going to be on. Kabraken catches Cryptic. Cryptic caught again. Oh, this is bad. He's going to instantly... Oh, wait. Yeah, he dies. He dies. That's that crazy. But Nem trades. Nem also goes super... Oh, my gosh. Epic failure falls. Hebo not able to do anything. Insane. Insane. It's an army with a double. Osiris is chasing around the Agni in the mid lane. There goes the... That's game. There goes the Ganesh. That's the match. That's actually the game. Cryptic caught three fights in a row in the jungle. Hebo not able to really kill or do anything. I think Ray Ray might just die. Wait, why are these walls bugged? And so high. That's weird. There he goes. Agni down. They're hitting this Phoenix, and I don't have a clue as to why. Your is under attack. I'm very confused here. That's that's the game. I don't know why the Osiris back. They're hitting cleaves right now. The, the Kabrak is just going to die for this. It's fine. Basket keyboard wins. That was a close, very close game. Controller players definitely showed out a bit. Their team fighting was good until i mean really until the last couple of firefights randoms had a very strong game but he was it was like a silent strong game dude he he pumped out just under izzy's damage but izzy had all the show kills had the quadra kill 12 kills lasting a lot hebo at 39,000, Agni at 38,000. the wards there yeah uh ganesha should add phantom 1000 percent if Ganesh has Phantom, the Cabra or the CERN doesn't die as much, but the CERN was also out of position a lot. A lot, a lot.